Acceleracers fans won't quit with being amazing. Every time, I'm just, just amazed beyond anything that this community creates such well-crafted customs. Just goes to show that even the Hot Wheels community abroad could learn a thing or two from us, right? <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the video, shall we? This is Acceleracers Customs Part 3. I want to begin this video thanking a dear friend and the sponsor of today's video, Overused Underscore Zero Three Customs. You have seen his work on this channel before, not for purchase previously. Well, now, with the release of this video, he'll be selling his 3D customs through DMs on his Instagram page. If you ever want a custom CM6 wheel, or better yet, some Diora 2 sweet custom wheels, or hey, what about some tracks for your Acceleracer custom dioramas? Well, this is the guy to go to. And, as a matter of fact, he has sent me some of his merchandise to review on the channel. So I can tell you and show you exactly some of the things he's selling. So, take it away, unboxing me. Ooh, look at that packaging. Look at that packaging. Overused, are you, are you gonna be silencers now? Is that what it is? Is this a silencer? Silencer phase? Ooh, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> he sent me so much more. Okay, so I wasn't expecting these. Whoa. Gen 2 baseline? Bro, you didn't have to! What? Yo, this is cool. Okay, I can't wait to show this. Oh my goodness. And a movie RD06. For JC movie RD06. Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, check this out. It's the Tower Spire. Whoa! It's the World Race Tower Spire and it has all the realms on it. That is that is so cool. Look at the cosmic realm here. Let's see. Swamp realm. Metro realm. Solar realm. Doesn't exist. But we'll just pretend like it does. Oh man, that is so cool. It is so smooth too. It is so smooth. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So there's still one left thing. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Check that out. It's a it's a wheel of power with all of the the realms on it. I'll place them here and I'll, I'll or I'll place them here and I'll I'll move my head. But what's really cool is is that this. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Fits on that. How cool is that? That is sweet. So this is actually a ring and it does! It fits! Yo, it fits! Alright. So that's really a perfect fit because I've measured my, my hand my hand size is a seven. But dude, that's awesome. Look at that. Got the wheel of power. Wheel of power. Wheel of power. It's, I mean, it's 3D printed, so it's a lot lighter than a normal ring would be. Bro, I'm married to Acceleracers. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm married. This is my new wedding band. <laughs> that is just super cool. I mean, that is just, that is dope as heck. So I can place that on my desk. Not only is it a piece to look at, but it is a functional piece as well. So overused. Well done again. I think the creativity out of the community is, is some of the best stuff ever. Open these guys. So this says... Gen 2 baseline. So I'm gonna be placing these two right here and here basically to show you the difference between a real one, which is the steel looking one, and the clear looking one, which is the customs. So overused made customs that I mean look identical. I mean I, I almost I couldn't figure it out at first, except for the like a little bit of 3D print lines on, on the wheel. But honestly, I couldn't even tell because he painted the rim and I thought, wow, that looks really good. Because it does, it looks it looks amazing. I mean, just comparing these is crazy to think about that <laughs> that we can do this now. I'm just amazed, honestly. Okay, they roll. They both roll. One's a little lighter than the other one, but they both roll basically just fine. And that's pretty crazy for 3D print work like this. Look at that. Look at that. 
yeah, they definitely roll. And that is super cool. Look at that difference. It's so nice. So yeah, they roll. They definitely roll. And that is super cool. So now, let's get the movie RDO6 out. Um, which must mean that he's going to have different wheels as well, I'm going to guess. So let me get one just in case of comparison. So yeah, this is a lot better of an angle. As you can see, these guys have the black wheels with the red dot instead of the, you know, CM6s over there that you can see. And these are just so cool. I mean, look at that. Look at that detail work, baby. Look at that detail work. Let me see if I can get it in the light. There we go. So you can see that it is clear on the inside. So it sort of looks more like the slicks that you would see in the movie than the CM6s, which have that like ridge. They have that ridge effect inside of them and the coal mold. Whereas these are just a 3D print that's painted on. So they don't have anything, which is really neat to see though, that you can see the difference in color. Um, I think these are actually lighter wheels than the windshield. These look as if they are the same exact color as the windshield, which is very interesting to note, considering um, I gotta, this is why I need a better setup. Oh well. This is gonna take the majority of my time on this video. <laughs> so it definitely super cool rolls. It definitely does roll, so. If that's a concern, they roll. They both roll. In fact, I think these roll better because they're new, because this axle was a little broken. This my childhood one, so it's it's a little wibbly wobbly. This one is in pristine condition. And you can see that it has two rivets. Or sorry, two screws instead of rivets. So yeah, that is super neat. Super, super neat, as you can see. Wish I had better lighting, but I don't. That is so cool. I even think this is blacker here. But maybe I'm just freaking out. No, I'm just freaking out. Yeah. So definitely a total change from, you know, the CM6s with the grays inside to that black. It's definitely more menacing for sure as well. I mean, that is, that is so good looking, especially with the red dot still there intact. Overused. You outdid yourself, my guy. You outdid yourself. And now, on to the rest of the video. I wanted to show off some of the amazing fan customs I've been seeing over the past month. And I know I missed some, I know. So if you ever think you've got what it takes to be in a customs video, use the hashtag on Instagram, hashtag Accelerators Customs. That way I know where exactly to find some of the work that previously may go over my head. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I miss a lot. I'm very sorry. <laughs> and if you're on the Acceleracers Reddit, make sure you tag your item as a custom as well. It just helps when I'm trying to go through stuff so I am able to find things. A uh, Facebook, sorry. I know that's a lot harder to look through. I know y'all try to tag me. I still don't understand Facebook. I'm so sorry. I just don't get it. I miss a lot on there. Um, so it just, it, but like I said, there's just so much though out there. It just goes to show the strength of the amazing community able to creatively come up with solutions to satisfy fans when uh, <laughs> Mattel is not sometimes. But that's okay because, you know, I know sometimes they want to. I know. I see them. I see them making those CM6 wheels. Feel real, man. I see you. So, without further ado, here we go. Alright, Reverberation underscore nine. Stay in the groove. So if you know him, he's Oscar H on a bunch of social media stuff on uh, YouTube it's OH uh, he does that uh, guitar pretty well thought I'd show off some of his stuff looks good I love this I love this little diorama piece that he's done um, that's really why I was showing him off because I love his diorama pieces here's a clip drone driver but that was really cool did a really neat uh, you know Nitrox 2 look there apparently the synchro okay interesting anyway He's done stuff like this, you know, thought it would be cool to show all that. Um, I've showed it before, but I, I also didn't show this version of his page before, so there you go. That is his Instagram, Reverberation underscore 9. Let's move on to the next one, Excella Custom, Javi Live. 
Uh, yeah, that's, um, uh, that is Spanish. Very sorry, I can't understand Spanish sometimes. Uh, but anyway, here are some of his customs. I like these versions as well. These are pretty good. Um, I've seen, I think those might be fan versions as well, but I'm not totally sure. Yes, I am right, Albertos. Those are Albertos. All right, so yeah, this is Miguel's and Excella custom. So he does some amazing work as well. Here's some of one of those. He's painting the tutorial. You can see how he does that. Ah, so he also has a clear-coated body. Uh, not clear-coated, but you understand. Clear body of reverb. Super cool stuff, like I said. So check his stuff and his page out. Excella Custom. Of course, you already know this guy, Acceleron Customs. Now, if you don't know, I did do a video, a short if you will, uh, showing off the no 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 low necklace that he sponsored last time for a video, and with that, you might want to get some because, uh, yeah, he's got 20 left and he's not making them next time, so you better go grab one while you still can, all right? So make sure you go grab one from him, Acceleron Customs, all right? And then overused, of course you already know this guy, he's amazing, right? I just, he sponsored the video, that's why he's so cool. Um, so this is that, uh, actually this is a way better photo than what I was showing earlier. Uh, real up close of that 3D printed thing, which I do still have, yes, it's right here. I know it's taken a lot to get this video out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But also he did some really cool stuff. Uh, he put Metal Maniac badges on his, <laughs> on his Ford Mustang. I mean, you can't make this up guys, look at this. That is cool. That is cool. And then the hubcaps too. I think he made me some Teku hubcaps. So maybe, you know, maybe I'll put them on my Civic. I don't know. And next we have Metro Metrics. Of course, if you saw that podcast interview, I hope you did because it was really good. You should definitely check it out. And the iCard. Um, here we go. Amazing looking 24 7. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very, very cool. I love it. Teku, Teku. I don't know if I showed that last time, but anyway, Silencers, RC, RSC, Azotic Droned. Uh, so, oh, this is his favorite, the RWB. Now, if you know that, if you watch that uh, video, go check it out. Go check that video out. So, yeah, he is still killing it. Good for him. Metro Matrix. Go check him out. And now on to Reddit. D Dior 2, the first one of two so this one was done by the big man of course you know him on youtube he did this version right here it's a little rough around the edges but he did it first he did it first because then <laughs> happy dang mass that's what i'm talking about went all out all out on gorgeous just look at the detailing who does this? The speakers. Now, I have one of these, by the way, but it don't look this good. I mean, like, like mine is in shreds at the moment, I guess. By the way, that screen he was just showing is, like, the, everything in there, like, that's sort of new. I think he said something about the tires as well being off of a an older uh, model that has been retired i mean look at the surfboards as well look at this this is amazing dude and look clone jt wasco emi the teku <whistles> what amazing amazing work dude amazing work seriously just gorgeous can you do mine now i i, I mine's a little bit rough around the edges you know it's got some scrapes and bruises so it could use a little touch up like this you know this is a nice touch up <laughs> I, I need I need it. I want it. I want it. Uh, funnily enough, my actually doesn't have a steering wheel. So that's that's a fun fun fact about my 118. No steering wheel. So yeah. Um this exact unit this is what his response is on uh, building. Uh this is I won't be doing any more than one at a time and estimating three to four weeks to complete each. Due to how rare and expensive the base 118th model is, any commissioner will require the customer to send their own existing used Dior 2 to be techuized. I have one. 
I have one. Commission pricing for a project like this would be 700 USD all in. I don't have one. I don't have money. I don't have it. <laughs> but it is amazing. Uh, this price would cover shipping your unmodified Dior 2 to me and the shipping back to you in a dedicated 118 display case. Provided you're located in the lower 48 states, prices will vary outside of that area. I realize that this may be pricey, but I will not be willing to tackle a project like this again for less. If interested, shoot a message for details. So 700 bucks if you got one. Um, it looks like that he is, uh, he is selling, oh, I, I didn't even realize he had a blog post about this as well. This is Super Robo, same guy that does the stickers on my, my Honda Civic that I have. He, he sold me the stickers, so very cool. This is the start. What's really neat is he even added the, the bar there. I don't even have that bar. Oh, he even added bottles on the bottom. Wow. That's cool. Surfboards. Look at all that dust. Yeah, so just incredible work. Incredible, incredible work. I was going to read through all this, but I think that's just too much to read at the moment. I'm going to read this personally myself for sure. Um, so if you definitely want to check it out, I've linked the Reddit post below. So go check that out for for real, for real, for real. So like I said before, yeah, that uh, he made a second one. So this guy commissioned Thomas uh, to or Super Robo to make another Dior 2. Now, I, like I said before, I would love for mine to get done, but uh, it, it is $700. So it's kind of expensive. Now you may be wondering, those are different wheels, aren't they? Ha, yes sir, you would be correct. Because those wheels are from overused. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be from overused? This dude literally makes everything. I told you, Dior 2 wheels, he's got you hooked up. Okay, so look at them Dior 2 wheels, right? Right, right? Look at them Dior 2 wheels. Yes, yeah, so he supplied the Dior 2 wheels, which is amazing. So, well done. Overused and super robo on this collab. And good job to Mr. Thank you very much, too, for buying it. Well done, dude. Uh, next, I wanted to highlight a customizer called Tyler JT 106 because I hadn't before, and I think I missed him a couple times. So, here's some amazing customs by him. He did a, he did the, uh, <laughs> the Impala. The Vert Wheeler Impala, I mean the, the Jack Wheeler Impala, so I think that's hilarious. Um, he also did this amazing, amazing custom here with Teku Nathan Proch, uh, Paradigm Shift, beautiful car, beautiful casting. I know, if we got actual custom, or real nice ones of those. And now we have a Metal Metal Baseline by Luxray. Super cool looking. I, I didn't even know they made a metal version of a uh, Baseline. So, very neat, very cool. Um, just thought I'd show that off, super cool. Yeah, there you go. And look, he even shares some uh, decals for baseline, there you go. So if you want to look at that, look at Luxray's. Next we have a Tekuized Track Tune, also by Luxray. I just thought it looked cool, I like Track Tune. This looks cool. Moving on. We have Raphael Huard. Sorry if I butchered your name. He made a couple of amazing looking customs that I'd show them in. Ooh, those are shiny. Look at those shiny, shiny, shiny. So again, some 3D printed wheels. Looks really fun. Looks really great. And yeah, that's about it. It looks good. I like it. I'm glad that we don't have to spend thousands of dollars for Spectites anymore. Luckily, they still make that model. Really, Chicane's the easiest one, I think, since Chicane didn't really get butchered as much in the uh, new models category. But hey. There are millions of these guys out there, okay? We're fine. And next we have Sly Wyatt on Facebook. This was on the Tesla posting. I thought these were just really neat. I know they're totally crazy, but that's what makes customizing fun, right? Uh, so Vulture with a great looking spoiler, it's hilarious. Uh, Roadrunner with no front, a really crazy looking, almost Teku 7 looking uh, slingshot. And I'm not exactly sure what that is, uh, because it looks so butchered, uh, maybe a Zod, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, but he has some really nice wheels here. CM6 wheels on all of these suckers. And with that, let's move on to Aldo Conde Duran. Sorry if I butchered her name again. Uh, but yeah, just cool. I like the diorama stuff. I like this, uh, using the paper. Uh, I've linked that before in one of the customs videos. Y'all can check those out, um, for that type of paper diorama stuff. Uh, here is Jimwell Santiago, if I said that right. Um, there's just a nice clean riveted. Just gotta look nice. He makes some nice little customs. A nitrium, 
Looks good. And a baseline. Looks great. So anyway, I think that was good. Um, I wanted to move on. <laughs> Back into the real world because nightlife with the other motorcycles that even Overuse has done. The RD07 that overused it. Again, overused is everywhere. He's everywhere. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that off as well right now because it's in a different time and place that I did this. So uh, yeah, okay, go, 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 go. This is what's really cool. Look at that. It's nightlife, bro. It's nightlife. Let me see if it, there it is. There she is. It's nightlife. It is rough. It's rough 3D printed. But bro, that's it. That's the that's the actual bike. That is the bike. It's not a Hot Wheels bike that's been recolored. It is nightlife, plain and simple. There's Vert. There's the drone that I still haven't colored yet. I'll color my drone in a bit. I think I'm going to do it on stream at some point. So the, funnily enough, drone doesn't have wheels that turn. So there it goes. So it's even got pork chop. I have to paint this guy into actual pork chop because he's just the ordinary Viking guy. So anyway, there you go. That's, that is it. These are the bikes. It's still cool though that his his wheels turn. That's crazy to me. I mean, he can literally pop a wheelie. Ooh. 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 Wow. Thank you again, Lee Felipe. Shoot, bro, this is so cool. It's just so cool, especially with the Jones logo on it, with Mark Jones being one of the designers of it. I think he is the designer of it, but it's not totally confirmed or anything. I think um, Eric Cherney said that it was, so I'm just gonna go along with that. But anyway, there you go. Yeah, it's super cool. I know I did that video on it, and I had to get one myself because it's just so cool. The only thing is, is the the back of Vert's jacket, of course, is not detailed or anything, but the overall shape of Vert is correct, and that's what's important, really. Because I could I could probably add a Taku logo, maybe. Um, I should ask some people about water slide decals, but I could probably add the Teku logo on the back of his jacket and then maybe do some lines just with some little bit of paint and uh, match that color and then bada bing, bada boom. There you go. So again, I just like to thank Overused for sponsoring this video. Uh, you can check him out right there on Instagram, you know give him a follow definitely give him a follow i mean he's at 800 what are y'all doing go follow this guy he's way better than me come on what are y'all doing so definitely give him a follow and uh like comment subscribe and i hope you stay for the rest of this year it's gonna be great it's the 20th anniversary of world race um so some cool interviews coming on the podcast as well as so many different things on the uh, Legends Tour front. We just got some dates. You can check out Instagram for those or my community tab on YouTube. Uh, so that means the real life Dior 2 and Twin Mill and Bone Shaker are going to be going around the United States. Sorry, North East and Northwest. I think y'all don't get them, but uh, drive to Detroit maybe. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't tell you what to do or not do. Um, but anyway, yes, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. What are your, some of your favorite customs? Make sure to use that hashtag, hashtag Accelerators Customs, or um, maybe like hashtag JC Accelerators Customs. I'm gonna keep it Accelerators Customs. It's just easier and more generalized, and more people will probably follow that hashtag. So we'll just use that. You can do it on Twitter, Instagram, uh, even maybe TikTok. I don't know. I think that's banned now. So whatever. Okay. See y'all. Peace out. Bye.